How you doing? Um, so, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrew, and my YouTube channel username is A Johnson Live. Um, for those of you who do, this video is a little bit different to what I normally upload to YouTube. Um, it's a little bit more serious. Um, it's just a quick little story of my introduction to YouTube and how I discovered YouTube. Um, and how YouTube helped to save my life. Um, back in May 2009, I had a little bit of a health worry that I was just, I just had this feeling um, that things were a little bit different, not quite right. So I hit up Dr. Google and a few different websites popped up um, and a couple of videos popped up. I think it was like two videos and I, <laughs> I don't like reading. Um, I don't mind reading comments now, but <laughs> I'm not real keen on reading and these couple of videos were there, so I thought, hey, that's what I'll check out. I'll check out a video. Um, so yeah, I clicked on, I just clicked on the first one and it took me to YouTube and I'd never, like, I've never looked at YouTube before. I'd heard about it, but I'd never, you know, I knew those videos on there and I'd never really checked it out. So I watched the first video and thought, oh, yeah, right. And um, looked underneath that video and there was a heap of related videos. So I clicked on the, you know, the next one down or whatever it was. And um, I probably sat there for, geez, it would have been a good hour or so just watching videos. And um, so that night I went home and I, um, I, you know, sort of compared myself to the videos um, that I watched and, and, um, I thought, oh yeah, well, the next day at lunch I checked out some more videos, um, and I didn't really do anything about it bar watch videos, um, for about three weeks to a month, probably even a month, which looking back now was pretty damn silly, <laughs> especially when all the videos were saying, hey, you know, go do something about this right now. Um, ASAP, I sort of, I don't know, I suppose I, I pretty much worked out what I had, but I really didn't want to, um, I don't know, I, it was embarrassing, um, it's, it wasn't something that I was really keen to go to the doctor about, um, so I knew I'd have to tell my wife, because she'd make me go, <laughs> so I did that, I went home, said, look, um, said what I thought, you know, what was going on, and, and yeah, then that, that next day we were at the doctor's surgery, um, and he sent me for an ultrasound the following day, and we went back to him with the results that night, and, yeah, the, the results of the ultrasound, um, was the first thing that pretty much told me what I'd pretty much already figured out from YouTube videos that I'd watched. Um, that I look like I had testicular cancer. So the doctor there and then rang the hospital and the urology department was going to call me within the next couple of days. So the next day at work I got a phone call from the urology department and they wanted me to go in and see the specialist, the urologist. Um, so I think that was made for like a day or two later. And I went in there, <clears throat> he had a look at myself and the results from the ultrasound and he pretty much said, yep, it, sorry, it looks like you have testicular cancer. Um, so he said, you know, the only, the only way you can be certain is to have the testicle removed. Um, they're not keen on doing a biopsy on that sort of cancer. Um, but by this time, I've watched that many YouTube videos and, and learnt that much about the subject and my wife she got on the internet and and you know brought up information from different websites and that sort of thing and it was you know i was dead setting up that's operation let's go for it so um a few days later probably would have only been maybe four four or five days after the, the appointment i was um booked into surgery to have one of my testicles removed um just an overnight procedure, 
Um, you go home the next day. <laughs> you go home. Extremely sore the next day, but you go home. Um, and yeah, there's a few months after that I had, well, it was probably, I think it was about six weeks after the operation. Yeah, five, six weeks after the operation. I had a round of chemotherapy. May have been earlier, may have been four weeks, I can't remember now. Um, had a round of chemotherapy. And, um, yeah, it was about 10 weeks of being pretty sore. Um, and, yeah, YouTube just, that's how I, I figured out what the go was. That's how I figured out what was wrong um, from watching YouTube videos. And there's that much information on YouTube. It's just unbelievable. Like, you can pretty much find anything out on YouTube. It's, I, I came to YouTube researching a problem that I thought I had, um, which turned out I did have, and now it's just, the, it made the recovery process so much better, like, um, the whole, the whole, the whole journey of this cancer thing, um, it just, it gets stuck in your head and you cannot get it out of your head, like, it's, you can be doing something and then bang, it's in there, and YouTube helped not only work out what was wrong, but it also helped in in taking your mind off it. You know, what watching funny videos, someone getting hit in the head with a cream pie, like just, you know, that's, there's hundreds of them on there, but there's just so many things on there that can just take your mind off and make you laugh. And um, it made the recovery process a lot easier um, to get through and to sort of get your mind off this cancer thing because it's just, it's, it's a big thing. Um, it was a very, very scary part time of my life. I don't know how I would have got through it without my wife and kids. The support from them was like unbelievable. It, it, it would be so hard to go through it by yourself, and I'm sure lots of people have to do that and have done that. But um, yeah, so that's just yeah, pretty much how I came to discover YouTube and and how it helped to save my life. Um, So, you know, I, I just, I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time. I've thought about it for a long time. And I, you know, I found out about what was wrong with me from videos like this. So I just thought I'd add another one to the, um, you know, to the hundreds and thousands that are out there and help get the word around. And, um, you know, the men's cancer isn't something that gets a lot of airtime. Um, women's cancer, your breast cancers, you hear a lot about that, but, um, you know, it's just so one more video up there may help save one more person. And, um, you know, if, even if this video only gets watched by a couple of people, and one of those people, it helps, you know, I'm, I'm wrapped. So, so yeah, guys, that's that's about it. That's, um, that's how YouTube helped to save my life. So, um, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and I just hope that, you know, it helped to save my life. So, I'm quite sure that it's going to help to save a lot of other people. So, um, yeah. I'll um, see you around on YouTube.